<laughs> I don't know what the cloud is. <laughs> okay. Nice. Well, welcome. Thanks so much for coming. Um, I feel like it's uh, just exciting to like see everybody, you know? <laughs> It's like a big FaceTime call with everyone. Um, it's nice to check in sometimes with uh, uh, each other, especially when we can't really see um, that many people, you know. But today I thought we could just do a little bit of everything. Um, we'll go through a few standing postures just to um, um, yeah, I just kind of like to stand to start start with standing postures. I find that they're the easiest, and then we'll work our way down to the ground. Okay. Um, so yeah, when you're ready, let's stand at the very top of the mat, and I'll show you um, most of the the movements. But if um, if I'm not doing them, I'll watch and see if you're doing them, okay? So do as best as you can. So you wanna stand with your feet side by side. This is called mountain pose. So basically you wanna stand tall like a mountain from your feet all the way to the top of your head. I want you just to focus your eyes just towards the tip of your nose without like crossing your eyes even looking a few feet in front of your belly button. Not really looking at anything but space. And keep your face nice and relaxed. And just start breathing through your nose already. Breathe all the way in. And breathe all the way out. And just keep breathing like that. Nice and rhythmic breaths. Breathing in for about three seconds and breathing out for about three seconds. And just start pressing down in through your heels, the backs of your feet, and then into the fronts, all the way towards the toes. Try and balance your feet, okay? And keep your knees right over your heels and your hips right over your knees, your shoulders right over your feet, your head and your ears right over your shoulders. Stand up nice and tall through the top of your head. And make your fingers nice and long. So your arms become long, but relaxed. Again, this is mountain pose. If you can be nice and still like a mountain, but soft like a cloud. So let's try, this is called half sun salutations and we'll do three of them, okay? So now reach your arms all the way up, try and touch the ceiling. You can have your arms apart or together. You can look down, forwards or up. Now fold forwards and place your hands on the ground. If it's too far of a reach, Place your hands on your legs and then relax your head a little bit closer to your legs. Breathe all the way out. Now, just lift your head away from you. Try and touch like the top of your head or reach the top of your head away from your legs. Stay heavy in your heels so you don't fall, okay? Spread out through the toes. Now exhale, fold forwards again. Bring your head closer towards your knees. Breathe all the way out. Now, stand all the way up, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Look forwards or up towards your hands and arms down by your sides, breathing all the way out. Let's do that two more times, okay? Reach your arms all the way up, take a deep breath in, up your midline, reaching your arms. Now fold forwards from your hips. Remember if it's too much, Bend your knees and place your hands on your legs. Otherwise, hands on the ground. Now lift your head, lift your chest, lift your stomach, then fold forwards, bring your head closer to your legs. Press your feet down and stand up, reach up. Inhale, breathe in. Arms down by your sides, exhale. Standing like a mountain. One more, reach your arms up, inhale, look up. Hands to the ground, exhale. Head close to the legs. 
Now lift your head. Inhale. Again, fold forwards. Exhale. Just going to your end range of motion. Now stand up and reach your arms up. Take a deep breath in. The arms down by your sides, breathing out. It looks like you froze. I'm just going to wait a second so you can see you again. I think it's you kind of moving. But it looks like you froze. Hey, we're back. We broke. Oh, there you are. <laughs> you froze on us. I know. You froze on me. I looked <laughs> and I said, oh my gosh, everyone's frozen. Mm -hmm. One sec. Okay, the internet's better. Hopefully, everyone's back. Yay. Jeez, how relaxing, hey? Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next, let's try a few um, sun salutations with modifications. I'll show you a few. So stand with your feet side by side again. Arms by your side, standing nice and tall. Now reach your arms all the way up. Take a deep breath in, just like before, try and reach for the ceiling. Even with the top of your head, try and touch the ceiling with it. Now fold forwards. Place your hands down wherever you can. And lift your head up, lift your chest and your stomach. Walk back to a push-up position, okay? And from here, just go down onto your knees and keep your ears, your shoulders and hips in a line. And try and make your elbows go back and lower all the way down onto your stomach. Touch your forehead down and press the tops of your feet straight back and down so your legs are straight, okay? Spread your hands like you're hand painting on the ground and you wanna make a nice painting. With an inhale, lift your head. This is Cobra. If you wanna try upward dog, you lift your chest, your stomach, your hips. You can even lift your knees. It's like a dog stretching in the morning. From here, come up into downward facing dog. Lift your hips up in the air like this. Another famous dog stretch. If this is not for you, come down on your knees like this, okay? You can keep your hips over your knees and the head down towards the ground, or bring your hips back towards your heels, head down. Breathe for about three more breaths wherever you are, okay? Breathe all the way in, and breathe all the way out. Breathe all the way in, and all the way out. One more inhale and exhale. Look in between your hands. Walk your feet forwards there. Once your feet are there, lift your head away from your legs. Breathe in. Now fold forwards, bring your head closer to you. Breathe out. Stand up, reach your arms up, inhale. Arms down by your sides, exhale. Let's do it one more time, okay? Reach your arms all the way up, inhale. And fold, exhale. Lift your head, inhale. Lift your chest, inhale. Walk back to the end of the mat. You can even jump back if you'd like. Keep your knees off the ground or on, your choice. Lower all the way down. Try and keep your body straight like a stick. Inhale, upward dog. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that was hilarious, eh? And exhale, downward facing dog. You're probably wondering, is that a cough for a sneeze? I'm wondering the same. <laughs> Then breathe for about three more nice breaths in downward facing dog or child's pose, okay? For three, two, 
And one, look in between your hands, walk your feet there, keep your hands on the ground or your legs, extend your spine forwards, like you're going like stiff arrows, breathe in, and fold forwards, breathing out. Stand up, reach up, take a deep breath in. Arms down by your sides, breathing out. Okay, so next you're going to take your feet about hip width apart, okay? With your first two fingers and thumbs, hold your big toes like this. If you cannot get them, bend your knees. Once you have them, lift your head, breathe in. Try and keep like a neutral spine. And then fold forwards. Keep extending and then flex your spine at the very last moment. And see if you can find your balance here for about five smooth breaths, okay? Breathe in, press your feet down, lift your hips off of your legs. Then exhale. You can tug on your toes and bring your head a bit closer towards you. A few more breaths. Breathe in from your nose to the chest, towards your belly button. From your belly button, chest, to your nose. Good. Now lift your head, breathe in. Keep a neutral spine. Hold onto your waist, breathe out. Press the four corners of your feet down and roll up to stand, breathe in. Bring your feet side by side, mountain pose. Let's try triangle. Step your right foot back a leg length. And then do this, turn to the right side of your mat. And turn your right foot now, you're gonna pivot your right foot to the back of your mat. And your left foot can be like at a 90 degree angle or even 45, your choice. Now reach your arms over your legs, take a breath in. Now reach your right hand as far away from your left foot as you can, then place your hand on your right foot or your leg. So you're trying to make the shape of a triangle from your feet, your left foot to your right, are the bottom ends, then the left hand will be like the top. You're looking at your left hand or down at your right hand for four. And there should be a triangle from your right hand, right shoulder towards your right hip, and in between your legs too, so three triangles. A few more breaths, again in, through the nose, the chest to the belly button, belly button, chest to the nose. One more, breathe in, breathe out. Look at your right foot, press down and stand up. Good, other side, turn to the right side of your mat. Off, off ten, or your both feet, and then point your left foot forwards. Take a deep breath in. And try and reach your left hand as far away from your right foot as you can. And place your left hand down on your foot or leg. Then reach up equally through your right hand. Look at your right hand for about five. Four. It's too much to place your hand on your foot. Place it on your leg. Three. You want to keep a nice long spine, okay? Two, and one. Inhale, come up. Now hold your waist. Turn your left foot forwards. Turn your right foot to the back. Now turn all the way towards the back of your mat. This will probably be one of the hardest ones that we'll do today. Reach your left arm up. This is called revolved triangle or twisted triangle. Place your left hand now on your right foot or your shin. You can even place it on your thigh. You're good, Debbie. Yeah, left hand on the right foot. Right arm can go up or out. Breathe for about five. Do your best. Four, you're right. Three, 
two, one, good, stand up, breathe in. And reach your right arm up and then turn all the way around to the other side of your mat. So you can do the other side. Now breathe in. Place your right hand down on your left foot or your leg, breathing out. Now, if possible, the left arm will go out. Find your balance and then breathe for five nice steady breaths. Four, push your feet and legs apart. Three, lengthen out through the top of your head. Two, one, good, come back up, arms open. Stay facing the right side of your mat, okay? Now hold on to your waist, wide-legged forward bend. Inhale. Keep the length and place your hands on the ground. Exhale. Now lift your head, inhale, and fold forwards. Reach the top of your head towards the ground. Breathing for five. Pressing down through the four corners of your feet. Not too hard or soft. So you feel a lifting from your feet all the way up into your legs. And lift your hips off of the legs. And press your hands down just like your feet. Relax your shoulders. You can like pull yourself down little by little with every exhale. A few more breaths, okay? Yeah. Press your feet down and lift your head. Inhale. Hold your waist. Exhale. Stand all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. One more like this. Arms up. And interlace your fingers behind your back. I'll turn around so you can see. Arms up. And then fold forwards for about five breaths. Can you go all the way down? Good. Four. Three. Two. And one, good, stand all the way up. And step forwards back to the top of your mat, standing still. Okay, sit down now. I'm just going to move this. Let's see. Maybe you can see me better if I move it this way. So yeah, we're going to sit. And if you have a block or some pillows, if you have a sore back, you can always use pillows. But if you have a block, you can use that too to sit on if you have a sore back. Um, but anyways, I want you to find a nice neutral position. I'm um, in your hips, okay? So you're not tilting forwards or back. Spread your toes back a little bit and push your heels forwards. Press your hands down. Take a deep breath in. Just tuck your chin, take a deep breath out. Just work on sitting up here for a few breaths. Breathe all the way in, pressing down through the backs of your heels. Tiny bit through the backs of the legs, not too hard. Ground the sitting bones here, lift and lengthen all the way up. Okay, let's try something. Reach your arms all the way up, just like this. And now imagining like you're in a standing position, like reaching your arms up, okay? So again, pushing your feet forward, spreading them back. Let your kneecaps move up towards the ceiling. Ground the sitting bones and keep your shoulders, your ears over your shoulders. And reach up. Breathe for about five. Imagine like you're holding a block in between your hands. Four. Three, if it's too much, you can always bend your knees like this, okay? Two. One, now keep reaching from the bottoms of your feet out through your fingers, then reach forward slowly as best as you can. 
when you cannot go anymore, just place your hands down. And bring your head down little by little. We're going to hang out here for about 10 breaths, okay? As you inhale, you can push your heels a bit forward, spread your toes back. As you exhale, you can fold. If you need to take a break, you can come up, okay? Breathe for about eight more nice breaths. Breathing all the way in towards the nose, chest, and stomach. Towards the belly button, from the belly button all the way towards the nose. Make sure you don't feel too much sensation or too little, just enough. Five more breaths. Okay. Lift your head, lift your chest, and try this. If you have not touched your feet today, I just want you to give them a little massage, okay? And I want you to place your hands on the tops of your feet like this if you can. If not, bend your knees. We're going to hold the outsides whatever you can. Breathe in and slowly go for five. Four. Relax your shoulders. Three. Keep your eyes towards your nose and belly button. Two. And one. Awesome. Lift your head. From here, lie down on your back and bend your knees like this. Once you're on your back, I want you to bring your elbows in close and bend your elbows, okay? This is called bridge pose. Ground your feet, your shoulders and head, your arms too, not your neck. Do not press your neck down, okay? Now lift your hips up. Look towards your belly button for about five full breaths. Four. Press your feet down so you can lift your hips up. Three. Press your arms, your shoulders, and head down gently. You can lift your chest up. Two. And one. Make your way down. Once you are back on the ground, take a full breath in and out. I want you to do it again, okay? Lift your hips straight up. If this is super easy for you, maybe if you're even under the age of 10, you can reach your arms back, especially if you're under the age of 10 and you wanna try, or any age is fine. <laughs> you can place your hands behind your shoulders like this. Maybe. If this is too much, don't do it. If possible, you go on to the top of your head like this. If this is easy, press your hands and feet down and lift your hips up. Take a few more breaths wherever you are, okay? And then slowly come down. Take a nice deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Hug your knees in towards you, okay? And lift your head up towards your knees. You can stay still or rock around. Now I want you to come up to sit. From here, we're gonna go into a posture called the butterfly pose. So if you have a couch behind you or a wall, you can always place your back against it. Remember, if your hips are really tilting forwards like this, you're going to wanna to sit up so that 
you're a little bit more comfortable and your hips are in a nice neutral position. Remember, you can always put blocks or pillows underneath your knees. Like this. You want to press either your feet straight together, or you can let them open up a little bit. And take a full breath in, sitting up tall. You can stay like this for the whole time, otherwise slowly go forwards little by little. You can place your hands on your feet, or reach them forwards. You can even place your arms underneath your legs. If this is too much, you can always just keep your chin in your hands like this. See if you can hang out here for about 15 breaths. Just going little by little. See if you can become nice and still like a statue. If you'd like, you can even close your eyes. Otherwise keep them about like halfway open. Relax your eyes. Breathe in for about three to five seconds. Go all the way to the top of your breath until there's a little pause. And in that pause, try not to stiffen or become too loose. At the top of the pause, you can exhale all the way down to the bottom of your breath until you find there is no more breath. But you don't have to go too hard. And find that pause. Become still in it. Observe your body, your breath, and mind. At the very bottom of the pause, breathe all the way in from your belly button towards your chest, your nose. A little pause. Keep breathing like that or just breathe naturally, okay? Take about five more breaths. Forward bends are a nice uh, way to kind of get you ready for bed. But I think any movement is good or mindful movement. Any movement. Okay, take another full breath in. Full breath out. During the pause, slowly, slowly. Make your way back up. Keep your eyes low. Take a full breath in. If you'd like, you can even exhale through your mouth. Like, ah. Take another full breath all the way in. Another deep breath out through the mouth. Ah. Okay. I want you to move your stuff off to the side and then lie down on your back. Once you're on your back, I want you to have your feet about hip width apart and just windshield wipe your legs from left to right like this. Try and keep, try and keep your um, posture. Okay, so let's do a few more. The twisting. From here, you want to reach your arms out to the sides of your body, like this, even in a out long, but it cannot because the couch is in the way. So if you're the same, you can bend your elbows. And from here, lift up your legs so your um, lower body's in like a 90 degree angle. Imagine you're in like chair pose. Imagine you're pressing your feet into a wall. Same with your sitting bones, imagine into like a ground, your shoulder blades, 
your sacrum, middle back of your head, and the backs of your arms. Take a deep breath in. At the pause, slowly bring your leg to the left. Once you're down, start breathing. Try and keep your shoulders and head on the ground, okay? Not the neck. You can look up towards the ceiling. Otherwise, your nose. If you want to try a deeper twist or try to make it feel like a bit more, you can look towards your right hand. If it's too much, look towards your left. Hang here for about five more breaths, okay? You can even use your left hand on your right side to like guide it down. Oh, I see a kitty, a cat. Oh, that's Glenn's cat. Or Janet. <laughs> Take a few more breaths like this, okay? My teacher say, and a lot of yogis say too, that twists help to like balance and uh, rebalance the nervous system. Okay, on your next inhale, come back up. You can have your feet on the mat or hug your knees in, whichever way is fine. If your feet are on the mat, you can windshield wipe your legs again and shake them side to side. All right, let's try out the other side. So arms out to the sides. Keep your legs in a 90 degree angle like you're sitting in a chair. Take a full breath in. And slowly bring your legs over to the right. And if it feels funny, you can try again. You wanna feel just like a little stretch um, around like your hips, your back, Maybe your chest, your shoulders. Remember, you can look at your right hand to make it easy. Otherwise, look to the ceiling or your left hand. And see if you can become nice and quiet, nice and still. All right, on your next inhale, I want you to come back up nice and slow. Breathe in. Hug your knees back in. Lift your head. And give yourself a little shake. Okay. Let's try one more. So this one's called um, the half moon pose. Some People call it the banana pose. Um, but what you want to do is start with your body in like a star shape. So your feet are on um, opposite sides of the mat. Um, and you're reaching your arms up to the sides. So you're like making the shape of a star, right? Now you're going to bring your right foot over towards your left. You might even cross your legs. So try and keep your sacrum. Um, on the ground and your hips, your shoulders square to the ceiling, okay? And from here, I want you to like, even press your arms in by your sides like this, and then just walk yourself, your upper body over towards the left too. So you're making the shape of like a half moon or a boomerang. You might even walk your legs over a little bit if it feels okay. You can have your hands behind your head like this. Like you're sitting watching the clouds. Or you can even reach your arms, one arm up or two arms up. Try and keep yourself comfortable 
on the ground and equal, okay? Just breathe for five. You should feel a nice big stretch through the right side of your body. Four. If your arms go numb and tingly, bring them down by your sides right away, okay? Three. Two. One. Uncross your legs. Bring yourself back into a starfish shape in the middle of your mat. Take a breath in. And a nice long breath. We'll simply switch sides. So you'll cross your left ankle over your right. Try and keep your hips on the ground nicely. Bring your arms by your sides. And pick your head, your shoulders up. Wiggle yourself over so you can make the shape of a boomerang again. Same thing. Breathe for about five. Watch from the bottom of your body all the way to your top. The top of your body. For four. Three. Two. And one, good. Break the pose and cross your legs. Place yourself back to the center of your mat and hug your knees back in towards you. Lift your head up towards your knees, rock around a bit. Let's try a few more quick movements. So you stay like this or if you want to try, bring your feet into a diamond shape like we did last class. You reach for the outsides of your feet. Stay like this or bring your head down. Take your breath in and out. You can also just hold your legs wherever. Now lift your head again, lift your shoulders. Stay like this or come into happy baby pose. Bring your feet over your knees. Hold on to your legs or your big toes. You can bring your head back down or keep it up. Stay like this or rock around a bit. Sometimes I'll even rock all the way over to the side. If I am trying to vacuum my floor. Just joking. <laughs> Take a few more breaths. Okay, lift your head, lift your shoulders. See here now if you can just stretch your legs straight little by little. And bring your head back down for a few breaths. Make sure your chin is not jutting back too much. Good, hug your knees in towards you one last time. Take a nice breath in. And a full breath out. Okay. And my favorite pose again, Shavasana. So you're going to lay on your back with your legs out long. Just let your feet and legs flop out to the sides naturally. Let your arms just rest beside you so your armpits can breathe. If this is too much on your back to lie like this, um, bend your knees. You can do that as well if you need, okay? You can even rest on your right side. You can use your arm as a pillow. But wherever you are, I want you to close your eyes for a bit. If you're wearing glasses too, you can take them off and rest your eyes. Now, focus your eyes on your nose. Just start to watch your breath 
moving slowly through it, letting it slow down little by little. The top of your head, relaxing into the forehead, relaxing any tension you feel in your face, your neck, your shoulders, same as the chest, ribs, stomach, and back. Soften into your hips, your legs, and your feet. If you can become nice and still, nice and quiet, and rest for a bit. Okay, so it's 8.45 p.m. If you have to get going, you can start to deepen your breath. If you want to lie down for a little bit longer, maybe I would, but maybe you have some dinner in the oven or something. If you have to get going, just start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch your arms up and back. Push your feet down and forward. Bend your knees. Slowly roll to your right side if you're getting up. And press your left hand down and slowly come up to sit. So thank you all so much if you're staying in Shavasana. I'll just end the meeting and I can talk to you um, Next week, hopefully, I see a few hands up there. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are leaving, we can bring the palms together. Thank you and namaste. Thank you. Yay, hopefully you got enough rest. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, if you want, you can lay down again. Um, but thanks. I hope it went okay on your end and you you feel all right. And it, I hope it wasn't too hard on you <laughs> or too easy. No, it was great. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you have a lovely evening and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Same time, same time. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Jessica. Bye. It was great. I really liked the the stretches. It felt like I was getting right inside. Oh, good. Yeah. Thanks, Jessica. I, I liked that you have your candle on it. It's nice and relaxing yeah. that way, hey? Yeah.
Yeah, it's a it's from Poplar and Birch, and it's one of those um, Advent candles. Oh, nice! So it just I just, just popped, started it. That's awesome. <laughs> I just popped open my uh, I just popped open my Advent calendar. Did you? Yeah, it's a good tradition. <laughs> Okay, hey, thanks. Shannon. Bye. Is that Jill? Thanks, Jessica. <laughs> you're uh, you're on mute, Shannon. You too, oh. Glenn. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out something at the top of my screen. That's oh, all. Don't cool, mind me. Cool. But it's, no yeah, worries. it's all good. I would. Okay. I just brought one yeah, of our. I've different. never seen that. Before. I haven't either. Okay, thanks for everything, Phil. Thanks too. Nice to see you, Grant. See you, Philip. Bye, Glenn. Thanks, Janet. Take care. Is Janet still sleeping, Glenn? <laughs> okay, good. Bye.